mag-usap tayo. At this time, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano kuhanin yung value ng n in a given equation using permutation. So, this is our problem. We're going to find out the value of our r wherein ba ang ating problem babasahin po natin in this form. The permutation of n taken 6 at a time is equivalent to 5040. Ang ibig sabihin nun, given na yung kanyang possible permutation. Tapos, yung r niya, given then. Ang nawawala dito is yung n. Paano natin nahanapin yun? Tara, samahan nyo pa ako. Pero bago tayo magpatuloy, meron po ako ditong list ng possible values or the, the values of the permutations of every numbers from 1 to 10. Later on, magagamit po natin yan. So, this is our problem. The, we're going to find for the value of n where this is the permutation of n taken 6 at a time which is equivalent to 5040. Bagamit po tayo ng formula. So, we have the permutation of n taken r at a time is also equivalent to n factorial divided by n minus r quantity factorial. Since given na po yung kanyang possible permutation, ang problem na lang natin is yung r. So, let us just substitute. Dito po sa part na to, nag-substitute po tayo ng ating information dito po. So, yung r natin, pinalitan natin ng 6. Since ang ating r dito ay 6. Then, yung 5,000, pinalit po natin dito as our uh, equivalent permutation of this given problem. So, ang nawawala po natin ay ang n. Ito po ang hahanapin natin. Let's start. Now, so we have now n factorial over n minus 6 factorial is equivalent to 5,040. So, in this case, uh, we will just simply cross product. Magmumultiply muna tayo using the cross product. Ang ibig sabihin nun, imumultiply po natin yung kanyang possible permutation. Pero bago natin gawin yun, convert muna natin yung 5,040 into factorial form. Kasi naka-factorial form po tayo sa atin pong problems. In short, ito pong 5,040, hahanapin po natin dito, which that is equivalent to 7 factorial. So, papalitan po natin ng 7 factorial yung atin pong 5,040. Ibig sabihin nun, this will become 7 factorial. So, this will become 7 factorial. Then, multiply po natin. 7 factorial times n minus 6 factorial, ito po ang kinalabasan po nun. Then, we just copy n factorial sa baba. Ganun po ang kanya magiging unang hakbang natin. Next, after na marirate natin at ma-multiply natin ang kanyang factorial, Kukuha niyo naman po natin, since kung mapapansin po natin, ay lahat po sila meron pong factorial. Ibig sabihin nun, pwede po natin ito tanggalin yung mga factorial symbol. Ito po, n factorial, uh, we have factorial, 7 factorial, and 6 factorial. We can simply divide this by factorial. So pag dinibayin po natin by factorial, makakancel out na po natin lahat yan. And therefore, ang matitira po is n equals to 7 quantity n minus 6. Pagkatapos po nun, we have now to distribute the given equation. So, we have to multiply 7 times n, that is equals to, ito po yun, 7 times n, that is equals to 7n. Then, multiply natin yung 7 times negative 6, that is equals to negative 42. At ito po ang magiging sagot nun. We have n is equals to 7n minus 42. Pagkatapos po natin gawin yan, lilipat po natin yung atin pong 7n dahil siya po ay meron pong n which is like terms. Ibig sabihin nun, we will just simply combine like terms. So since that is positive 7n magiging negative. Kaya ang mangyayari ay this will become n minus 7n which is equals to 
negative 32. Then, pagkatapos po natin gawin yan, we have now to subtract 7 n minus 7, negative 7 n, that is equivalent to negative 6 n. Kaya ang lumabas, you have now negative 6 n is equals to negative 42. Now, to solve and to find for the value of n, we will just simply divide this equation by negative 6 in both sides. And therefore, we have to divide negative 6n divided by n is equivalent to 1 and negative 42 divided by 6 that is equivalent to 7. So, ganun po ang magiging scenario po nun. Therefore, ang kanyang magiging sagot ay we have now of course, we have to cancel out this we have to cancel out this, therefore our n now is equals to 7. This time, tuturuan ko naman kayo kung paano makuha yung value ng n in a short form. Magsushortcut po tayo. Ganun pa rin yung process, napakadali lang. Let's start. Kanina, ginamit natin yung formula ng permutation. Ngayon, napakabilis lang, kahit hindi natin gamitin yan, Sa isang tingin mo lang, agad-agad makukuha mo ka agad yung value ng n. So, our problem is to find for the value of n of the following. Meron ako ditong numbers, tulad kanina, meron akong numbers from 1 to 10. Kanina, meron silang equivalent factorial. At this time, ito po ang maging sinabi. So, we have, example, we're going to find for the value of n or the permutation of n taken 3 at a time, which is equivalent to 336. Ano ang kanyang maging possible value nun? So, dito, sa atin pong uh, given problem, kung titingnan po natin, ito po yung R natin. Ito po ang ating maging point of reference para makuha po natin yung value ng N. Ibig sabihin nun, maghanap tayo dito sa numbers na to from 1 to 10 na tatlong consecutive numbers. Remember, consecutive numbers, magkakasunod. Maghanap tayo ng numbers na magkakasunod na pag pinag-multiply natin yung tatlong numbers na yon, ang kanyang magiging sagot ay dapat 336. Pwede kang gumamit ng calculator or kung magaling ka naman sa mag-multiply, you just simply multiply that number. So we have now tingnan natin and that number is equivalent to 8 times 7 times 6 or 8 times 7 times 6 that is equivalent to 336 ito po yun 1, 2, 3 ibig sabihin nun ang kanyang magiging value ng n is the number which is the highest and therefore ang n po natin dito is equivalent to 8 so, ang kanyang value now ay we have 8, yung nasa pinakamataas na number. Pwede mo namang i-multiply yan ng from uh, descending or ascending order. Pwede ka namang we start ng 6 times 7 times 8 or 8 times 7 times 6 for as long as yung highest number, yun po yung kanyang magiging value ng n. Therefore, ang input natin dito is 8. Maliwanag. Let's have example number 2. So, sa example number 2, we have our n is equivalent to unknown. Our r is 5, then we have now 30,240. So, yun po yung hahanapin natin. Ibig sabihin nun, mag maghanap tayo ng number dito po sa part na to, na kung saan ang kanyang equivalent values, 5 times natin gagawin yun. Magmultiply ka ng number. Na kung saan ang ating magiging value is 30,000, 240. And that number is, we have 6 times 7 times 8 times 9 times 10. Ang kanyang katumbas is equivalent to 30,240. Then, simply, kuhanin mo yung kanyang highest number. Ano ba yung highest number dyan? So, yung highest number natin is equivalent to 10. And therefore, our n is equivalent to 10. Ganun lang. Let's sum the next example, you have now, n is unknown, then we have 4 as our r, and 24 is equivalent to our possible permutation. So, 
ilang beses daw po tayo magmo-multiply? We have 4 times. Apat na beses po natin gagawin yon. Pag mo-multiply tayo dito sa part na to, na kung saan ang kalalabasan is 24. 4 times. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 3 is 3. Or 6 rather. And 6 times 4, that is equal to 24. Ibig sabihin nun, ang kanyang n is equivalent to 4. Bakit po? We have the highest number is 4. Maliwanag. Nakuha. That's some example number 4. So, dito naman po, we have our r is 4, our n is unknown, then the number or the equivalent permutation is 3024. Apat na bisis po tayo magmumultiply ng number, then, dapat ang kanyang sagot is 3024. Ano kaya yung number na yun? And that is equivalent to 6 times 7 times 8 times 9. That is equivalent to 3,024. Ano po ba yung highest number sa kanila? So, yung highest number po natin is 9. And therefore, the value of our n is equivalent to 9. Next, we have example number 5. Our n is equals to unknown. Then, r is 2. And our permutation is equivalent to 20. Maghanap tayo ng number that when we multiply that number, dalawang bisis po natin gagawin ang kanyang sagot is 20. Ano kaya yon? So, that is equals to 4 times 5. Ano po ba yung highest number sa kanilang dalawa? That is equals to 5. And therefore, our n is equals to, it should be 5, hindi po 10. That is just a typographical error. So, this will become 5. This is 5. Correction. Good luck and have a nice day.